So over the course of the Jurassic Park franchise, there has been many very interesting opening sequences. They are often used to set the tone, showcase a main antagonist, or even foreshadow very chaotic events that will be taking place later on. But the main question of today's video is, which opening scene represented the film in the best light, what sequence got the fans most excited, and which one best set the tone for the remainder of the film? Well, if we do want to find out, let's go back and look at the five options we do have on the table right now. Back 25 years ago in 1993, the opening scene in Jurassic Park was absolute chaos. When the InGen workers tried to transport the big one into its enclosure, one of the employees, Joffrey Brown, got on top of the crate, and then the big one using her power and speed lashed out, knocking him over and allowing a chance to get the kill. During all of this chaos, Robert Muldoon made eye contact with the big one. And then later on in Jurassic Park, he was warning Ian Malcolm, Dr. Alan Grant, L.D. Sattler, and John Hammond about the dangers of these velociraptors. He was well aware that any mistake around these dinosaurs would result in death. Then ironically, later on in the jungle, one velociraptor set itself up as bait while the big one went for the kill. That kill was completed, and the opening sequence came full circle. Then in Jurassic Park The Lost World, one of the more gruesome opening sequences took place. A couple and their daughter vacationed on Sorna, which as we know is a terrible idea, but as their daughter ventured deeper into the jungle, she essentially came across an army of compies. Without hesitation, they ganged up around her and began their their attack. Now this one single event ended up in a lawsuit, and John Hammond was no longer declared the CEO of InGen. Now the opening sequence in Jurassic Park 3 seemed more confusing than it was clear. We have Eric and Ben illegally paragliding around Isa Sorna, the boat is apparently attacked by pteranodons, and this causes everybody to die. This also means that there is nobody to pay attention to the paragliders, so then the boat crashes into the rocks and the paragliders let go. This then leads to Eric Kirby being alone and stranded on a dinosaur-infested island. Moving on to Jurassic World, however, we get raw foreshadowing for the Indominus Rex. There are two eggs, and the first Indominus Rex is able to claw its way out, and then they show the second egg where the Indominus Rex sibling is struggling to get out. It was a great way to foreshadow the fact that the Indominus Rex we saw in Jurassic World was very powerful, very demented, and very persistent. The sibling of this Indominus Rex was not nearly as powerful, and that would explain why it got killed off. But then we move on to the most recent one in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. This is all chaotic and very reminiscent of the Jurassic Park opening sequence. We have the InGen workers inside the Mosasaurus arena trying to retrieve the Indominus Rex bone, and then after they send it up, their submarine is attacked by this creature. They are killed off with ease, and as the helicopter is waiting for the land worker, Rexy essentially comes out of nowhere and goes for the attack. She begins chasing this man down Main Street, but as he gets closer, he grabs a hold of the helicopter ladder and is able to escape momentarily. However, she bites it too, and it's essentially a tug-of-war for a few moments. The ladder snaps in half, allowing the man to escape once again, but as soon as they celebrate, the Mosasaurus jumps out and kills this man off with one bite. So this opening scene by far is the most action-packed, but if I did have to choose the best opening sequence, I would say it's Jurassic Park. The way it began and the way it ended, it was all perfect. The big one proved every single word Robert spoke to be true. Usually characters like that are the ones that are staying out of trouble and finding a way to outsmart these different dinosaurs, but not Robert Muldoon. Jurassic Park went above and beyond to showcase the true intelligence of something like the big one. But how about you guys? Which opening sequence in the Jurassic Park franchise is your favorite? Jurassic Park, The Lost World, Jurassic Park 3, Jurassic World, or Fallen Kingdom? Write this all down below, and if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe if you want, and if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and have a nice day.